Android 16 is here. Whoa! Yay! Yeah! Android 16. And while my friend is still stuck on Android 11, he's actually excited about Android 16. Android 16. Android 16. <laughs> he's really excited about it. So the question here is, while your phones are still waiting for the Android 15 update, why has Google launched Android 16? And major, major question. Every Android company now promises two Android updates, three Android updates. So if Google releases two Android versions in a year, will your phone lose support in just two years or a year? Like what? What? That's yeah, we'll, we'll talk about all of it. Now, before we get to the major features, first of all, who can install Android 16? See, it's only available for these Pixel devices. You'll have to flash and install Android 16. The OTA updates to Pixel devices will start coming in January 2025. And this is Android 16 developer preview. It's called Baklava. Technically, it should be something starting with W, but it's B. Anyways, the Android beta release will come somewhere in March 2025. And finally, the stable version will release around May to June 2025. Now, of course, there are some cosmetic changes in Android 15. So before we check out the major features, like side by side, if you see with Android 15, on Android 16, the notifications look slightly different. The quick setting icons are the same. If you go to the settings menu, it will now appear more categorized in Android 16. Network settings are in one section, display and phone settings are in another section. Apart from that, there's not much to see in looks. There's haptic feedback now when you increase or decrease the brightness or volume. And now when you tap on three dots to adjust app volumes, you get a small option called live captions. So it will automatically caption the video playing in the background. Previously, it was hidden in settings. Now it's just right there. Now there are seven major or new features in Android 16. Now you can share audio to two devices at the same time. So there's a new option called audio sharing. You can now connect two Bluetooth devices to the phone. When you go to Bluetooth menu, under connection preferences, there's audio sharing. So now the same music plays on these two Bluetooth devices. But you might think, huh, Samsung already had this. How is this different? Well, this is different. It uses a tech called AuraCast. Plus 10,000 Aura points. So it basically creates an audio stream. So by putting this username and password, all of your friends can wirelessly listen to audio at the same time. All of your friends. But here's the sad part. It requires Bluetooth LE audio. So all of the smartphones or TWS or speakers need to support Bluetooth LE audio, which is not present on older devices. Even in Pixel, it only supports Pixel 8 and above devices. So minus 10,000 Aura points. Back to square. <laughs> the next feature is actually what we saw in older Android builds, but it's finally here. Notification cooldown. So suppose Zomato, Swiggy, Mintra, Instagram all plan to send you notification at the same time, your phone will buzz like crazy and it's annoying for people around you. So notification cooldown will gradually reduce the volume and silence your phone for up to two minutes if you receive too many notifications at the same time. But what if all of those notifications are of my crush? Android 16 will just... Crush the love story before it starts. Well, it excludes calls. And you can mark your crush as a priority notification. So this way, the love story might or might not happen, but Android 16 won't crush it. <laughs> Next up is rich ongoing notifications. I'll explain it in simple words. So suppose when WhatsApp sends you a notification, you see a WhatsApp icon here. But now imagine I book an Uber and I see the time of arrival here. I set up an alarm, I see alarm here. I have a flight boarding and I see that here instead of just the app icon. So Android is now letting apps customize the icon style here to give more information. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. Isn't it like Apple's Dynamic Island? Well, yes or no. Android since Android 12 displayed call timer here, screen recording here, but now letting Uber, Maps and other third-party applications do it, seems like it is coming from Apple. But the implementation is old, the idea is new. Get that. If, it, if that makes sense. Talking about Apple, now there are DND modes. So you can tap here and switch between sleep, DND, work, etc. Oh, sorry, that's an iPhone. Now you see modes in quick settings and I can make my own mode. Suppose running. Now I can decide what time this mode will happen, like 8 to 9 in the morning. Who can call, text me. The screen can be dark mode, like lots of it. And now I just tap and activate it or it automatically activates at the set time. So it's basically DND but much more customizable and personal. There's also an experimental display mode. So the color of the display can adapt to the lighting of the surrounding. The keyword is color, not brightness. And it's again very... Apple-esque. There is also now Health Connect in Android 16. So basically there's one place where you can store all your medical records. All your fitness app can sync and send data to this one app. It's basically like Samsung Health or Apple Health, but it's coming integrated in Android 16. So you'll get one single place in all Android devices. 
Another big feature that might come in later updates is desktop windowing. So just like your Windows laptop where you can resize and move window of any app, Android will let you do the same. Now again, ColorOS, One UI, HyperOS lets you do this pop-up style windows or have as many apps on the screen. But when Android will do this, it will come default for every Android phone. Plus, this will also be beneficial for Android tablets and foldable devices. Now, the developer one of Android 16 is more about developers testing the version. The features will come mostly around January 2025. But again, I have a question. If Android 15 has just launched, what's the hurry in bringing Android 16 now? Well, Google wants to change Android. Usually, Android stable version releases at the end of the year. Now, Google wants to release it in first half of the year. So by the end of the year, they could also release a minor update like Android 16.1 or 15.1 types. Again, a bigger question is, now that Google has launched two Android versions in one year, if your budget phone comes with a promise of two Android updates, your phone is now just old in one year. Well, see, the answer is very simple. Some brands call it four years of Android updates, while some brands call it four generations of Android updates. So if the brand says four years of Android updates and Google launches two Android versions in one year, you will get five updates in four years. Like Google wasn't supposed to update Pixel 6, but it got Android 16 because it supports four years of Android updates. But on the other hand, if the brand says four generations of Android updates or four Android updates, you'll only get four updates in four years. So take this with a grain of salt. Again, everything depends on the brand. What Android version are you on? Comment below. We'll see you in the next video. Pratik signing off. Phew, phew.